Hi everyone and welcome to this Elementor tutorial. In this video, we will review the best practices for displaying posts on your pages with the help of Elementor Page Builder. In this video, I'll be using 24 historical, multi-purpose news portal Elementor WordPress theme, which is a great solution for a news portal website or for a blogging website. The reason is, it goes with a bunch of plugins that make managing a blog a lot easier. For example, JetBlog plugin allows you to display posts in a nice way. You can see it in an example here. So these are the examples of blogs that you can create with the help of JetBlog plugin. So these include the post styles, the post list, text ticker, and the video playlist. which will make your blog look a lot more organized and attractive. Another plugin that will help you manage your blog on WordPress is Jet Elements. Because it includes the post widget, that will help you organize your posts and display it in post grid and post slider, in post carousel, etc. So now let's go back to the page in 24 historical and see how these elements work. So here we see an example of a new sticker. And I would actually like this new sticker to be there in the header, so it is present on every single page where this header appears. So what we can do here is to create a new section right on top of this one that contains the ticker, then grab this widget and drop it onto a new section, like so. Now what we can do is to go to the settings of the section, somewhere where it is not the widget, so we don't click on the widget, but we click on this section. And here in the drop-down menu, we will have save as template. So news ticker, you give it a name and you click save. Here we go. And by the way, all of these templates go in the 24 historical by default. So right away as you get the theme, you get all of these templates. Also here in the Blogs tab, you see Jet Advanced Carousel, Jet Advanced Map, Jet Button. All of these are the parts of Jet Elements that go with Jet Elements and you get them right away with the template. Okay, so it is here, new sticker, it is saved. Now what we do is we click on Edit Header. Yes, in 24 Historical you can edit headers, which is a wonderful opportunity. And it is possible thanks to the Jet Blocks plugin. It also goes in 24 Historical absolutely for free, which is a great deal because you don't have to pay any additional money for those that you get. And uh, what we do here is here in the new section box, we go to add template. And here we can add that particular template that we have saved, that new sticker. Let's find it here. It's in alphabetical order. So just find new sticker here. And here you can preview. And let's simply insert. Here we go. We have added this new sticker to the header. So now every time when you see this header, you'll also see the new sticker on every single page where this header goes. All right. So now let's update. So all the changes we have applied are saved. Now we go back to the home page. Now we can delete this section because we don't need it anymore. Let's also update so the changes are saved. And now let's refresh. Now we're going to see the updated header with the new sticker inside it. Let's check this out. Here we go. Trending news. Here is that new sticker. Okay, now let's review all the other widgets that you can find in JetBlog. So for example, let's click on this one and find out what this is. And this is Smart Post Styles widget. So as you see, you can organize your posts in similar way. There are also the navigation arrows. So you can switch between the boxes and see the different posts. Like it is very good looking and it also saves up some space on your page. So it's not a list, but it's the tiles. You see the thumbnail of the post and you see all the necessary information about the post, such as metadata, description, the title, 
and you can also put the categories and tags in there like here the next one what this is this is the smart post list you see it's a little different from the post tiles this allows you to display the posts in a similar block so you also see all the necessary information about the post but it looks a little different from the post tiles if in the post tiles all the content is contained on top of the image the post list looks more like a classic way to display posts the great thing about the post list is that you can navigate across the posts filtering them by the categories and here is the full list of categories so you put the categories in here and you simply click on the category and the posts that belong to a certain category are displayed and all the others are hidden and there are also the navigation arrows there is another example of the smart post list but going in a little different design so you see there's a lot of ways you can display your posts using smart post lists and smart post styles saying again these are the parts of the jet blog plugin that you get absolutely for free in 24 historical wordpress theme or you can also get it separately it is absolutely possible to get jet blog and jet elements plugins on templatemaster.com and if you want to get these plugins you can follow the links in the description under this video so another smart post list here we go again you see the navigation is very convenient it is very simple and there's really a lot of ways to style this widget and finally the video playlist that also goes in jet blog so now the videos from youtube or even your self-hosted videos can be displayed in a nice looking playlist all of them can be numbered their titles can be also visible like so so you have seen the real examples of how the blogs created with the widget going in jet blog and jet elements can look so now it is time for us to go and create our own so you see how these widgets are edited how to work with them how easy it is to customize the blocks you create etc so here we are on the empty page and let's go to the elements panel where we can search for i'll simply type in post and here you'll see all the widgets that you have that you can use for displaying posts so posts which is a part of chat elements plugin smart post styles smart post list so these are the three that we will be reviewing today first off let's try smart post styles you drop it onto a new section and you see right away it creates a beautiful layout with beautiful pre-styled elements so what is left for you is to do very little to choose the layout let's say I like this one then you choose the minimum height for the block so we can make it a lot bigger like that let this be 800 if you want to show post terms which is these categories so we can easily switch them on and off so it can be either categories or tags then if you have multiple categories and tags in your blog post which you usually do you can choose how many terms you want to be shown one two three four or all of them here's at the maximum length of the title so if you have a really long title and you're afraid that it's gonna be not very good looking on the post tiles you can easily crop it to let's say five words like that or even three words or even one word just the way you wish and then you can also set the excerpt length choose whether you want to show the post meta the post author the post date and also choose the icon for the date then you can also query the post which may look a little more complicated but is really easy so here you choose what type of post you want to be shown in the post tiles usually if you are having a blog it will be post then you can query the post by categories tags 
or IDs. So, for example, you want to show particular posts of the particular category in this blog. So, let's say I want to post that belong to the category called, let's say, lifestyle to be displayed in here. So you see only the posts that belong to the lifestyle category are displayed now. And you can also get the IDs of the posts that you want to be excluded from the post styles. You simply go, you find the ID of the post, you put it in here, and these posts will be excluded from the post styles. Here you can also offset the post, and as you see, it is pretty easy. You can also add the custom query if you're a little bit more experienced user. And you can also use the custom fields. But I'll not be going in depth in the custom fields and custom query topics. Maybe later I'll do a tutorial devoted specifically to this topic. But let's get to the style tab. Here you can increase the gap between the boxes. So you can make it bigger or smaller. Let's leave it at 3. Then the box overlay. If you're afraid that the text is not going to be really well readable, you can set the overlay for the post. Let it be black, but almost fully transparent. So since the text we have here is white, so it will be seen a little better on the areas that are light like this. And thanks to the overlay, you can see the difference like that. So here the text is almost not readable at all, but you switch the overlay on and it looks way better. And here in the content tab, you change the style settings for the text right there, for the meta, terms links, which are these, so you can totally change their look. Let's say you want to change this blue color to a different one, maybe black, maybe very bright red color, like so. Also, if you have a lot of posts here in your post styles, you will need the page and arrows. Okay, let's show all the posts, not only from the lifestyle category, so we can switch the page and arrows on. So we have a little more posts to show. So we need to go to query and controls and find enable carousel option. And then don't forget to switch the control arrows on. Otherwise, you're not going to see them. Now they only appear on hover. Here they go. And now we can switch between the slides. Then you can uncheck show arrows only on hover option. Here you can also change the look of the arrows. But it's really to your taste. All right, switch this off. Then go to style. Find the page and arrows tab. And here you can set the position for these arrows. Let's say you don't like them in here. You want them to be there at the top of the block. So let's say top. And then go ahead and you move these. And let's move them a little closer to each other. Here we go. And let's change the background color so we can see them better. Okay, that's a little bit too far. So like that. And right now, in under five minutes, you have created smart post styles from scratch. So as you see, it doesn't take a lot of time. It doesn't take a lot of effort, a lot of knowledge. All right, the next one is post list. Let's get really quickly to it. And as you see, once you drop it, you have a beautiful layout right away and you don't really have to do anything. All the settings regarding the custom query and custom fields are the same and you also enable the page and control in here. So here it goes. By default, it appears there at the bottom. What you can also do, you can also set the title and choose the tag for the title. Like so, you can mark the post as featured. You can also choose the type of the layout. And here in the query and controls, you can also show the filter by terms. 
So here it goes. Now we have enabled the filter. You can also choose categories, tags, or format. If you have way too many terms, like I do, you can roll up extra terms. Like so. And all the terms that do not fit in this box will be hidden there in the three dots icon. And then you proceed to the style tab where you apply the style settings to this block and you change it. You change the typography, you change the other style settings. So they're matching with the overall style of your website. Now let's briefly get to the post widget, which is a part of uh, Jet Elements plugin, which you can also get separately. And the great thing about this plugin that you can go to add template, then go to blocks. And here in the category drop down, you're going to scroll down and find the ready-made presets called Jet Post Carousel, Jet Post Slider, Jet Post Grid. These are the pre-made blocks that you insert on your page and they go in different styles. So for example, this is a post carousel. Let's say I like this one and I click insert and it inserts it on my page. And what I need to do is to simply change the styles of this blog. So we have reviewed the best practices that you can use to make your blog look more sophisticated, more interesting and more modern. So I encourage you to go ahead and check out the demo of 24 historical on templatemaster.com. I've left the links in the description under this video so you can go and check this out and also check the jet elements and jet blog plugins that go absolutely for free in 24 historical and you can also get them on templatemonster.com. They don't cost a lot, but there are a whole bunch of extremely useful widgets that's going to make your workflow a lot easier and faster and a lot more enjoyable. So that's it for this video. I hope this video was helpful and I hope you found some really useful and interesting insights for your blog and you're going to go ahead and try them out on your website. So thank you so much for watching. I see you in another video.